Welcome to Old Raiders Rule One on One. I'm Corey Borman, and today we're talking to red shirt senior defensive tackle number fifty, Sean Sadowski. Sean, thanks for letting me, uh, you know, taking some time to talk to us today. Yeah, no problem. So I read about your history uh, a bit on your your profile and in the press guide and stuff, and uh, so you're all state linebacker, three hundred and fifty pound bench, coming out of St. Mary's High School. What was recruiting like for you, and what made you choose Shippensburg? Um, I mean, it was just typical. Coaches always coming in, pulling me out of class. I mean, no one's ever complaining about that. And uh, I went and checked out Edinburgh right before ship, and I was pretty much up between them and coming here, and then also considering wrestling. And Matt called me, and, and I scheduled an, or, uh, a visit right after Edinburgh that following weekend. I came down and loved the campus, and Matt's from out my way, too. Uh, he's from Pumps Italia, and it's like right near St. Mary's, so that was a big thing to do with it, and then just, I walked into the office, and there was a big sign, it said family, and like all the other schools I talked to, they didn't really emphasize anything of that sort, so that was another factor that pretty much threw me here. Yeah, Coach Mack, he's, he's a lot of fun, he's a good guy, and he knows, you know, he knows his ball, and he cares about his players, so. Yeah. Um, let's see, as a... College football player, a lot of guys don't really establish themselves on the team until they're junior. I think I read that you uh you started playing your sophomore year. Yeah, I was a uh, linebacker, obviously, coming in. And I was playing under Cody Fleming and really learning the game from him and stuff. It just was awesome for me, being a young guy, and having Cody above me with, with all the credentials he has. And, uh, and then last season, it was kind of like my first year to really do something. Uh, Cody graduated, and it was like up between me and Portland Dell, and I tore my lateral meniscus into going into camp. And uh, Portland kind of worked itself in and, and took over that spot. So in the spring, I asked him to move down to the end, and Coach took cool with it, and, and now I'm that guy you know, on the right side. All right, so this is your last season. Uh, how's the season different from any of the last two or three that you know, you've seen some time on the field? Um. Well, obviously, I'm a senior now, so that's, like, one of the bigger things. And uh, it's my first year really starting it and being a, a player that hopefully some of the guys can look to and be accountable for and make plays and, and make things happen, especially on big stops that we need. So uh, I really feel like I'm a more part of the defense, I guess, and, and being more productive and having more of a foot in what go, goes on on the field and stuff and, and determining – how well our success is as a defense and as a team. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man, you're fun fun to watch. I've, I've seen you jack up several offensive tackles, you know, and, you know, at two, what are you, 250 now? Yeah, 250, 255. Okay, all right. So it's a good size for a D lineman, but I know in the PSAC a lot of times the O tackles now are about 300 pounds, man. And I've seen you got, you know, you specifically, you know, drive them straight down into the pile some days. All right, so uh, so what are your goals this season? I mean, like goals are kind of important, and uh, what do you what are you trying to accomplish this season? Um, well, obviously, get a ring because uh, we played in a played in, in a PSAC championship, but we haven't really we obviously don't win, and uh, it'd be nice to really come out uh, with a ring. Hasn't been done since I think two thousand nine, two thousand nine. So get that, and then uh, be one of the best defenses in the country. That's all. It's like what what we're trying to shoot for every year. So that's cool. All right, man. So here's the one about your profile picture, dude. I'm going to show it up on the screen here, real quick. I've seen a lot of intense locker room photos, man, but this profile pic is one of the best I've ever seen. Let me talk about that picture for a minute. Um, so me, Portland, James, and Brian, for the past few years, our lockers were always next to each other, back in this little corner, and just the four of us who really, really just get into the zone, jam music, Metallica, uh, Chevelle, like anything. And uh, we just, that was actually last spring game. And guys with the phones out, we were like, hey, let's get a picture real quick. And we just did that. It was awesome. It turned out a lot better than what we had to do. Yeah, that's a good one. Sometimes I know in the locker room, you know, different guys have different tastes in music. You, you guys ever run into those kind of issues? Uh yeah, I mean, pretty much every day rap's played. And, I mean, it's whatever. I'm not really a big rap guy. But on game day, I, I have my headphones in. 
pretty much a saga, five finger death punch. All right, Sean. So now you've been playing at Seth Grove for a few years now, hearing the band, feeling the crowd behind you. What's it like to be a Red Raider coming out of the locker room on that beautiful fall Saturday afternoon, uh, knowing you've got you know pretty much the most dedicated fans in the PSAC ready to to cheer you guys on? Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing like it. Uh, walking out, touching the rock, and then just getting together as a team in the end zone, coming out, uh, bands playing, coming through the flag. And uh, the best thing is the cannon, and they got that back this year. So, I mean, it's always cool running down the field or on kickoff or kick return and watching the other team jump because they're not expecting that cannon to go. But, I mean, fans are awesome. They always have been since I've been here. Uh, even on bad weather, they're – Stands are pretty much always full, and we got one of the biggest stands in the country. So it's awesome to see it's always back and ready to go. Yeah, definitely. This last weekend, it was an exciting crowd, man. It had some got some good pictures out of that, and uh, loud too, which was good to hear. All right, so uh, this weekend we've got Bloomsburg coming up. Obviously, pretty big rivalry. Had some huge games against these guys in the last two years. Um, that the game against Bloom. What, two years ago, two, both of the games against Bloom yeah. were just the biggest games I've ever seen at Ship. And uh, just the seeing the line that stretched all the way down to the baseball field was pretty intense. But, um, all right, so how are you as a senior going to come in and rise up against Bloomsburg and help the, the younger guys? Because obviously this week's a big challenge. Uh, I mean, out of the 11 games you play, I feel like if we had to win one, it would definitely have to be against Bloomsburg. Uh, I mean, really just – Kind of be a leader in practice, watch a film, do what you got to do, the little things to get better. I mean, they're it's Bloomsburg. They're a good team. It's not something you could just go in there and, and lay down and expect that the best is going to happen. So you really got to go in hot-headed and be ready to come off the ball and smack someone in the mouth. So they play smash mouth football, and so do we. That's why, we, I mean, we've had the success against them the past few years. So. All right, so uh, you do have graduation right around the corner. Um, what are you most mi- going to miss about being, you know, wearing that number 50, knowing that next year someone else is going to be wearing that and carrying it on? Um, you know, what are you going to miss about uh, playing ball at ship? Um, obviously football. I mean, it's my last year, but just like the guys, like, you know, I mean, the locker room and, and the weekends after a big win with the guys and stuff and, and even living together. I mean, I live with all football players and always have. Uh, so just like, the camaraderie and stuff, the brotherhood, and, and just being able to come out and mess around all day and, and see each other pretty much every day, almost the whole year. So I'm going to miss that I mean, just seeing the guys and mess around have a good time. That's what we always talk about all the time, man. And it's like oh, a small little window of your life that you get to do that, and that's pretty awesome. So that wraps it up. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I, I really appreciate you uh, doing this, and uh, good luck next week against Bloomsburg, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Quick note for the old Raiders, uh, you're going to want to put October 4th game on your schedule, which is next week. There's a ton of guys that are going to be coming back for that game. So, you know, mark your calendars, beg your other half to miss the kids' soccer game, uh, do some extra dishes, you know, it doesn't matter. Whatever you got to do, get out there to Seth Grove Stadium October 4th for uh, some early morning tailgating and uh, Red Raider football kickoff at 12 noon. Um, next week's interview, we're doing one-on-one with quarterback 17, Chris Lawshey. So be sure to check that out next week. Thanks for watching Old Raiders Rule one-on-one, and I'll see you at Seth Grove. Thanks a lot, Corey.